video playback. So quite um, high performance video playback use case. And if you look very carefully at the average power line, you'll see 1593, about 1 1.6 watts um, for that use case. And that is compared to, on this screen here, we have the 835. Again, the exact same use case, UHD 60 frames per second video playback. And if you look very carefully here, it's about 2070, so about two watts uh, of power consumption for the exact same use case. So pretty significant uh, improvement on that use case uh, that we are uh, proud to showcase. And uh, on the left here, we have a, a different use case, the Manhattan Graphics Benchmark. Um, and if you look very closely on the 845, you see 2947, so 2.9 watts or so. And on the bottom here, bottom left, uh, you see the 835 number for the exact same use case. We have around 3795, so 3.7, 3.8 uh, uh, watts for that exact same use case. So Andrew mentioned earlier, it's the same process node. Uh, so to accomplish these uh, improvements really takes a re-architecture uh, of the chipset. So this particular cadence of products actually going from last year to this year uh, particularly is, uh, is good for us to highlight the amount of uh, impact that a architecture can have. Um, so it comes from the GPU, uh, the video cores on that side, CPU, all the IP cores that go into our chipsets, and also the architecture that puts all those things together. Um, so pretty compelling improvements um, uh, that we are able to showcase for these particular use cases. Yeah, one, 